Hey, what's up? My, that's because I just made the YouTube short. One sec, one sec. Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is full walkthrough episode 28, Cloud and Tifa Canon Event. How's everybody doing? Your YouTube short is ready and will be up at 11.30 tonight. Uh, it is a Lego short, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And uh, Final Fantasy is starting late. Can't really be helped. Sorry about that. But um, let's get to it. So this will be Loveless and uh, some other stuff. So let's go. Gold Saucer, Fantasyland. Alright, so yesterday uh, I actually did the expert motorcycle. I did a bunch of other stuff that I wasn't expecting to happen, which was pretty cool. And we're going to make another save file just in case. Um, let's see, so we're here. Gold Saucer entrance. None of this matters. Where was this? This is the Gold Saucer. This was the Coral Training Gem. So here. There we go. Okay. So, Tifa really wants to go see a play. And where to go, Koopo? Um, event Square, please. So anyway, guys, your first like goal is 100 likes. Let's get those likes up if we haven't already. And let's have a fun stream. So, uh, Loveless, Loveless, Loveless. Oh, we probably have to get our tickets. So this is a movie theater. Tonight's Loveless, 1930. Sold out. Oh no. I don't know how Tifa was expecting us to get tickets. Uh, whoops. Good day, and well met, most esteemed guest. Perchance you have points for me? Uh, no, I have no more points for you. Whoops. No. Hi everyone, hope you guys are I all having a great day. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was talking over the character. Oh no, they're just talking in the background. I mean, they said it's a sold out performance. Chadley is here? Of course he's here. Uh, I'm waiting for one of the actors to come out. I was hoping I could ask them for an autograph. Of course. Chadley is like everywhere. Yep. And there's Jesse. Oh wow, there's Jesse performing somewhere. Well, she used to perform. Quite a while ago. Are you here to see Loveless? Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? We're going into cyberspace, it looks like. Oh, wow. So this is like a ballet.
Okay, so that was Jesse from the past. Yeah, so I believe that was a 3D movie, like those were saying. I've never seen her look more beautiful. Yeah, she's a real star. mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfred was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Okay, so Cloud... Wait, we're, we're inside this prison, it looks like. We're in an interactive like. uh, virtual reality play. Oh. Man! I must away! I must away! <laughs> They look cool. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa, how did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. Whoa! Pray take not another step, gentle <laughs> princess. Varvados. Oh, oh. Would the cur defy his captor? <laughs> oh my god. I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade. <laughs> so I can choose. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang? I want to fight Barret. Personally, okay. Varvatus. You know. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar. Uh oh. Hmm. 
okay, so it's uh, interactive. Jackson does. Uh, Barrel looks like a Power Rangers villain. <laughs> he does kind of look like a Power Ranger villain, yeah. He looks cool. Watch out, Cloud! He just held you up there. Yeah, he did. We struck him! <laughs> I've seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent in divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. Yeah, Tifa. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet. All tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. To fight the angry dog oh, now. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Yikes. To fight Simba. <laughs> Down Simba. <laughs> oh, God, Simba. Things popping up. Well, I guess red is a formidable boss. It did say difficulty too. Poor bear, difficulty the first one. <laughs> difficulty the first one. Cool to save bear for the end. A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado, friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? So it's like Shakespearean. Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. 
and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. Oh my god. No. Wait, make sure you choose the person. Don't choose red. Yeah. My love. Alfred. Ah, face the charade. Love is not but an illusion. <laughs> Goddess above, let my blade strike true. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Tifa. Ever. It's pretty interesting. Uh oh. Alfred. I don't know what they... They want us to press all the buttons? Whoops. I have no idea. I didn't know what to do there. No, you guys set the stage on fire. Whoops. I hope Barrett and Red are okay. Oh, wow. They still gave me an S rank. Okay. Bereft of wings and broken, I consign you to the abyss. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. You are a true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance till your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Now that's what I call bringing the house down. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. Very Shakespearean. Tragedy, love parting, stuff like that. Yeah, it does feel like the Shakespearean play. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, it's not over. That's Aerith. A 
I'm sensing a death flag. I'm just saying! Hands. Only took him two games. Oh! Wait, she didn't meet Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse, though. Maybe she saw them in this. In the live stream? Mm hmm. That was a really well done performance. Mm hmm. That gave me chills. What is a death flag, Deanna? Uh, watch more anime. did a great job. Ha! <laughs> Vincent's like... Mm. That was a beautiful song. Mm. Whoa, everything took place in the visor? So it's like the audience... How did they do that? 
Wow, that was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. I was really hoping Jesse would be alive in some alternate universe, but nope. Thanks for the highlighted message. Jackson, member for 38 months. Wow. Wow, Jackson, thank you. The song was the best part of the game awards and is the best part of this game. Mm. Says Jackson. It was Yeah, that was very that was flawless. Hello and welcome to Park Central. Every square is to It's a nice uh, tune and nice uh, message in the song too, actually. I wonder if that song was in the original Final Fantasy VII. No. So they composed it for this game. There I don't think there was a Loveless play in the original Final Fantasy VII. Oh wait, yes there was. There was. There was. It was nothing like that, though. There was a, a Loveless play, but it wasn't quite like that. I mean, a lot of people are saying they were crying during Aerith singing. It's a beautiful song. Alright, Sky Wheel. Let's go, Koopo! Sorry. I think that song was saying till the day we meet again. And here we are! Only couples may ride the Sky Wheel at this time. Grab your friend or partner and embark on a wondrous trip through the sights and sounds of the gold saucer. Watch the adventure unfold before your very eyes, each moment more breathtaking than the last. This dazzling journey is sure to Wait, be did I go to the sky Oh, I don't know. yeah, I did. Okay. That <laughs> song was called No Promises to Keep. Okay, thank you, um, Jackson. Yeah, it's a it's a new song. It was completely original to this game. It was revealed during the Game Awards. Oh, wow, Jackson. It's a really well done song. It was very beautiful. How did we get to the sky wheel again? It's like this. I don't think I've ever heard a song Are as good as that in a video game. Um, there's been singing in games for quite a while. Um, the last song that I really heard a girl belt was the Snake Eater song in Metal Gear. Metal oh. Gear had an amazing... Um, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Amby could sing that song. Thank you the you, range for it. That's, it's a, well, what's the name of that? It's Snake Eater, or I can't remember the name of the song. No, I, I know what you mean. It's you really me famous, that. like, just about. You told me about that when I was going out to do, like, songs and stuff from gaming in the past. Are you ready to ride? I am ready! Here we go. Oh. You ready for this? A gondola's here. Well, after you. You first. Uh, Cloud? Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes. Wow. Safe. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, over there. See that? <sighs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. So, have you talked to Aerith? Hmm? Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zach. <gasps> How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean... I guess it is. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids, even... I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again. <sighs> Not one bit. Yes! It's about time! Finally. Cannon event! <laughs> it's cannon! We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. Even the awkward after the kiss anime moment. That is totally an anime rom com now. It's a, so well done. <laughs> well, I'm not disappointed. It was very cute. It was so cute. Full disclosure? didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously, wow, find of the century. You never know, that intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. 
Oh no, this poor little dog. Oh. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. There are steps to anime rom-coms. There has to be a confession. The kiss is important. The kiss cements that they both like each other. But they both have to take that leap forward All right. together. Let's bring this one home. And that'll be the aspect of the third game. So. Huh. Well, Luke has watched a lot of anime in pre preparation for this moment. Also, I know something that other people don't know. The reason why this is a canon relationship is all the other girls that Cloud goes on a date with, he doesn't kiss. The only girl who gets kissed in the sky wheel is Tifa. Yeah, too bad we didn't see what would have happened if, hmm? if Red had been in there. <laughs> I don't want to tell you what happens if Red is in there. He doesn't kiss him. Uh, and Barrett is kind of like Cloud's dad. like It's like a guy talk in the Ferris wheel or whatever. Like that. I've seen some of the other ones because I didn't know if I was going to actually get Red the dog, so I was panicking. So I, I did. I did. Uh, I'd watched all the um, Skywheel things. How much anime does Luke watch, Miss Tiana? Um, a lot. He watches anime every night. He watches anime every yep. night. Yep. Aerith gives him a hug and she cuddles up to him. Yuffie kisses his cheek, and the other characters, they don't really do much. Okay, so your battle party will be consisted of Cloud, his date, the previous night, and one member of your choosing. Once your teammates are prepared for the upcoming matches, speak with the reception staff. Okay, so now we can bring Aerith back in. We're gonna need a healer, so... Oh, we already have a healer. Never mind, we're good. Time to fight Corneria. Or, Cor... Uh, what's his name? Uh we have the fireworks go off right at the... Yeah, time. but you have to remember that this is this is how anime romance works. While a kiss or a hug or holding hands can happen, and it's a big deal, both characters have to confess that they like each other. They've both shown each other they like each other, but there has to be a confession. If, it's, if there's no confession, then, you know, it could just be, oh, we accidentally kissed, type thing. Which, you know, that drives shippers crazy. It's like when characters kiss, but then they don't seal the deal with, like, saying boyfriend-girlfriend. You know, there, there has to be a I love you or I like you type thing, and there was none of that yet. Because remember, this is, this is Japanese, so it follows the Japanese way of, in media, how characters, like, confess to each other and how relationships build. So yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, there's still more, but, I mean, that's... They're on their way. They're, you know... We'll find out what they do in the third game, because there's there's no... There is two more side quests, but there's side quests done to the point where Cloud and Tifa go back to flirting with each other and teasing each other. It's not like, you know, furthering what happened after the Skywheel. You won't see a further of this relationship until the third game, after this point. That's it. Like, you get that big moment, that big build-up, and then you have to see where it goes in the third game. Yeah, I mean, you would think that uh, Silver Sonic, but... There's a lot of people that try to say that they're not, there's no evidence that they're supposed to be together and stuff. So, I think Luke is just talking for those, those people. Yeah, there were people for years, um, I'm going back to what the 90s, before Advent Children came out, um, that everybody always said, well, he was with Tifa because he was sad about Aerith dying, so she was a rebound chick. Is, is what... Wow. Yeah, well, that's what Aerith fans used to say about Tifa. She was the rebound girl. So really it was just... messed up. It was the end of the world, so they slept together. That's that's what they said. Yeah. Well, that's very disrespectful to Tifa. It's very disrespectful to Tifa. That's right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Max up. What is this? This is... We United also focus. know their relationship stands and continues after Final Fantasy VII ends as Silver Sonic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Enhanced Magic Guard, um, Aerith. Because there are stories and games after the original showing Cloud and Tifa living together. Yep. Yeah, I mean, even in Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, they're searching for each other. Uh, Cloud is searching for Tifa, Tifa's searching for Cloud. 
the only Kingdom Hearts game she shows up in is the second one where she was looking for him. And then she and Cloud, like, kind of face against Sephiroth, and they both disappear, and you don't know where they go after that. Yeah, they could say that it could just be a heat-of-the-moment decision without a confession. Definitely Jackson. Yeah, that's why a confession's important. And again, I'm a... I'm an anime nerd. I watch a lot of anime. Um, in fact, I just... I bawled my eyes out today over an anime. Um, the... I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I'll just tell you guys that I got very emotional watching the last two episodes of... Um, uh, what's the name of that show? I highly recommend it. I think it's cute. Um, but it's called... Um, da, 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 da. All these animes have really long names, so excuse me. Um... It's called... I don't want this to play. Alright. Seventh time loop, the villainous enjoys a carefree life married. That's... I think that's the full name of it. But it had a very satisfying conclusion. Um, so, I saw the end of that today. This morning, when I was having some breathing difficulties, I, I watched it. And um, it was nice to, to see that. So sometimes you have to remember that uh, animes with 12 episodes, they don't always have a satisfying ending. It's like they're trying to um, tell people, okay, there's going to be a you know continuation. So the relationship, they're just going to have one moment where they like hold hands or they kiss or something. And then the rest of the show, they're just bantering. Um, so, you know, um, I, I would say that the ending of that series was probably open to the possibility of it continuing you know but oh. you don't you don't know you oh you were the 120th like thank you oh thank you oh appreciate, appreciate your that. help so much thank you i appreciate everything that you do oh thank you so much <laughs> okay so we got this massive recharge Thank you for the super chat. Daffy says, um, how many DVDs do you have for anime and cartoons? Uh, well, we don't really collect a lot of DVDs anymore. We buy digital things, but... Mainly watches it on Crunchyroll. That bookcase over there is full of movies that Amber and I used to collect up till 2012. 2013 we have we've some, been we've been digital for quite have, a while we have some old cartoon shows mm -hmm. once in a while for christmas or a birthday i get luke and old cartoon shows like the 1987 turtles or transformers and stuff yeah i i very rarely buy um anime the only time i get anime i talk to amber and i say they're discontinuing the show off crunchyroll or somewhere else and then I'll go and I'll buy it, but I'll I'll tell her because uh, that's what we did for working. Working was a show we both really loved, but they discontinued airing it. I don't know why they just did. So we had to get the show on DVD, but the stuff that we have isn't like I don't even know if we can watch it completely. It might be European. We we don't know, um, but we have the working series on DVD, which is about this guy working in a restaurant. It's a comedy. It was very well done, but. Um, it was delisted, and then there was a, a few other animes that have been delisted that I own, but I don't have lots of anime DVDs. Not anymore. Um, I only go out... When I find out a show is being cancelled, or it's, like, not continuing, or it's being, you know, not aired anymore, then I buy it. And that doesn't happen as often as you think. Uh, although Warner Brothers used to remove stuff from Crunchyroll. After Sony bought Crunchyroll, they haven't really been removing a lot of stuff from what I've seen. I could be wrong, though, but I, I think that they've um, allowed more anime to stick around, whereas Warner Brothers used to actually get rid of shows when they owned Crunchyroll. But they don't own it. Sony does. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that's one of the things I hated about Warner Brothers, is they would always get rid of some of the shows that I used to watch. Because there were some feel-good animes that I would just want to watch sometimes, because... You have to remember, um, not every anime that comes out every year that airs is good. Like, it's it's there, and it's new, but it doesn't necessarily mean, oh, okay, this is going to be a great show. It doesn't work that way. Um, so, um, I, like to, I like to watch certain anime. Uh, case in point, 
Um, I'm not really wowed by a lot of shows that are coming out right now, so I've restarted to watch um, one of my favorite shows from during the pandemic, which was called um, uh, Love After the World... Love After World Domination, which is a rom-com based on a Super Sentai romance between the Villainous and the Red Ranger. So they took, like, an actual Super Sentai thing and they turned it into a full-blown show that, you know, is just kind of like a parody of it. And it's really well done. Um, it's really funny, so I watched that during the pandemic and I rewatched that every once in a while. And I do have that on DVD. So I bought that yeah. show. Hi, Winter Circle. Sorry, um... When there's a story-based game, it's hard for me to respond to people as much, uh, but I do see you in the chat. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I really appreciate you coming back. For today's special contest, um, don't miss your chance to see this once-in-a-lifetime event. All right. I'm pulling for DM. Oh, look, Tifa and, uh, Aerith are hanging out. Yeah. They're besties. Oh, yeah, no, it, it's, uh, yeah, it all depends on what kind of stream we're doing, um, uh, uh, it all depends on what kind of stream we're doing, um, uh, Winner's Circle, how much time we have to talk to people and stuff. It's like, this one had a lot of cutscenes in it, so it was hard for us to talk to our audience a lot. Oh, this was one of my favorite episodes so far. I really like this one. Yeah, I... I mean... Oh my gosh, they're both blue, but Tifa is light blue! Look at that. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing alright. Um, thank you, Victor. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Tifa and Aerith are besties is cute paws. Yeah, I like that about this game. They didn't seem like they were friends in the first game. Just like they had a rivalry for Cloud's affection. That's that's what it felt like. So I, I like that they're all friends now. Kind of sweet. You like... Oh. Uh... Let's see. You like Sonic Unleashed on Winter Circle? Awesome. Sonic Unleashed is okay. So Sonic Unleashed is a infinite replay value and a go-to... For a pure rush. A awesome winter circle. Joseph West says, I am staring at a creepy doll collection in uh, my grandmother's porcelain doll collection. Oh gosh. Sorry to hear that, Joseph. I hope things get better for you. For <gasps> yeah, that doesn't sound very uh, fun. That sounds like the clown collection. Uh, <laughs> you guys are like, uh, yeah, no, you guys have so many similarities. Luke, sounds like... Clown collection. Are you ready to rumble, champions? We still have a I watch animes based on video games a lot, says Miss Tiana. Hey, there are some animes based on video games. There are also parodies of um, animes inspired by video games. I watch those too. I, I have a plethora of anime I like to watch. Yeah, if you guys want to say hi to Winner's Circle, um, he uh, just joined us last night on our ultimate stream. He's a new new fan. New new viewer, and um, he he likes to talk about new games he's playing. So feel free to say hi to him, and uh, you know he likes to t uh, let people know what his ideas are for new games. So you guys can definitely say hi if you want to. It's very used to. I don't even know what that is. Hi, Big J uh, Gamer City. Hi, everyone. I mean, I already have someone to Um, if you guys are just coming in and you want to know who Cloud went on the date, what it was, uh, it was Tifa. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be changing the thumbnail for that kiss, because I, I want to show that. <laughs> I'm a softie. Alright, anyway, let's go. Alright guys, time to get back to the game. Date's over. Time for the Coliseum. They're all eager to watch you take down the Don. Ready to give him a show? Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Best of luck to you in the I arena. still haven't unlocked uh, Tifa's last um unison move or whatever it's called. Tonight, Don Corneo and yours truly will do battle for the right 
just like only yesterday that I was a scrawny young lad chasing a dream in the desert with it. The announcers are back. I like that first guy. He was Don? Cool. Oh, yeah. Well, he's the mayor. I, I want to see him do his wrestling. Oh, Dio? Dio got hurt uh, protecting Cloud, Tifa, and the gang like, uh, in the previous chapter. He's the mayor of um, the Golden Saucer. And Don, we hate the Don. Well, guess what, Amber? We get to beat him in a boss fight. So. I'm on fire and not the fun kind of fire. Keep it up okay, so, uh, these guys are trying to attack us with fire. They're not very nice. I don't like them. Tifa, let him rip. So now Tifa's light blue, which means, you know, it's all good. I mean, it seems kind of overkill, you two, but power couple away. <laughs> oh my gosh, Teeth the Cloud. Settle down, kids. That was overkill. That is straight up overkill. I guess because they went on their faded date, that means it's a lot easier to do center synergy with these two. So now because we did keep the date thing, we can actually be nice to the rest of the teammates. That means we can do other side quests if we want after this chapter. 
Nope, there's no other date. <laughs> you get two dates in this game. Um, our first date with Tifa, we couldn't go on the Sky Rail. Or the uh, Ferris Wheel. And the second date, we went on the Ferris Wheel. It looked like she was ready to seal the deal in the, um, the first date, but they weren't able to ride the Sky Wheel. That's where I thought a confession was going to happen, because that's before he tried to Except for I'll try to kill him. Um, so, it's possible she would have confessed then, but she's still, she's a little scared of him for, you know, Hold on tight. clear gotcha. reasons. Well, hey, fancy bit more. I'm just getting started. I miss older sounding red. I'll not be losing one of my nine lives to the likes of you! <laughs> if you get hurt, I get hurt! <laughs> nice! guys can kill you in one hit, mainly the guy in the back. Actually, there's a problem that we have. Cloud does not have his resurrection thing equipped. So... I didn't even see Cloud die, holy crap. Eric, please tell me you have resurrection. Oh, oh, I can use items. Well, that's nice. Well, they cheat, so I can use items. On berries. They have a one hit kill. Take him down. Ready or not, here I come. Oh no. Exact them on. Those darn cacti, says Jackson. Cacti is fun. Okay. Yeah, do you get the idea for the team and for the team and for the Spider-Verse? I don't think so. I think it looks the same. It could be a reference. I'm not telling. Maybe. <laughs> that should do it, right? Still got Corneo to go. Right. First lucky lady. How about you? Tiffa, look out! <laughs> Daddy's coming! <laughs> uh, what? What a shame! That sneak attack won't be making a highlight. Oh, 
I don't like the dawn. You just you. This guy's a total skeez. Don't underestimate him. Time to stretch your stuff, ladies, and I want a good look. Absu's old, Neo's champions are new. The stadium is borrowed, and they'll all get black and blue. So let the final ambition begin. I don't think so, Chris. Now. My song is That's a cool. Take the dawn. Take down the dawn. Music keeps us going. Take down the dawn. Says me. That's the plan. Hi Ashley, hi Big J Gamer. Hi um, everyone, hope you guys are doing well. added commentary. Got it. 
Stay down, Don. Ow, that stings. Hey. <laughs> we cutting them off? <laughs> Or should we rip them off? That or smash them, maybe? <laughs> Let's fill them with lead. Don't bother. I'll just bite them off. <laughs> You're all so mean! So petty! Picking on a poor small business owner! Yeah. But hell, I can take it, and I can give as good as I get. So, all of you can, kiss my ass! Yeah. Hi-ho, my sewer stallion! He who runs away gives up naming rights today! Ladies and gentlemen, it's all over! Victory goes to... Theo's <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> nice work, guys! We did it! We won! Of course we did. Eric! We did it! Yeah. High fives all around. To you, my champions, the gold saucer's name shall not be profaned. For this great boon, allow me to embrace you each in turn. Time? Yeah, we're good with just the keystone. And we'll take it now, thank you. Aww. <laughs> As you no wish, hugs! He wants a hug. I will not deny you what is yours by right. Behold, your prize. I really like that <laughs> character, do you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Hey! You give that back right now! <laughs> no, you don't! <laughs> Come and get it! Ow. Too slow! Ow. <laughs> On you. Hmm? It's Shinra property. Cut the bullshit. <sighs> Red! Huh? <laughs> what the hell's going on? He just took off! Alright. Yuffie, Nanaki, with me. The rest of you deal with them. Let's get a move on. Oh, the cat. The cat always betrays them. <laughs> it's time to get some payback for the mine. <laughs> A grudge match, then! Over which I must insist you allow me to officiate. I like this announcer wrestler guy. He's really To cool. ensure a fair and entertaining bout, we'll give you a chance to rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. They're sitting there well, sitting down? Mm-hmm. It's so we can save and stuff. Wow. This restores all our health. This is really... I like the humor in this game. It's really funny. That's why I said Game of the Year for me. It's like, it's such a well-done game. But, I mean, if people were like, Oh, the cat betrays them! It's like, but the cat betrayed them in the original. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean... I would think my cat would probably betray me, too. You can never trust a cat. Mm. They're just in it for the food and cuddles. Mm-hmm. You don't really know what their real motive is. Wow, oh, still really nothing? Uh. Hmm. 
Oh, look at Amber. Ghostbuster Frozen was amazing. I took my bestie to see it last week on her birthday. Awesome, Ashley. Alright, let's do this. We got... Oh, actually we have no way of upgrading our stuff. Okay. I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Are you ready to duke it out? I am. Fantastic. Then without further ado... The announcers are back. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody brings a hype like us! Scotch and cut! Make some noise! Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the arena! Cause ready or not, it's time to rumble! One more round! Let's get it on! I like the announcer guys. They're fun. They make it fun. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I forgot. You have to go after the girl. She's the first one. Well, yeah, they're turds. They, no, they stole the uh, the key to the ancients. It's how the game will end. We need that key in order to get into where the Cetra are from. It's important. So, I mean, they're gonna... I guess I was wrong. I thought this game would be over after 15 chapters. They're gonna milk it out now. Because now we're gonna have to chase the cat to get back the uh, stolen property. That's what I'm planning. What is happening now? Now. Well, that was a very interesting. Let's finish this. <laughs> One of my favorite episodes so far. <laughs> Besties attack! Uh. 
All right, she's done. Now we just have to go after this guy. Oh, rude? Yeah, a little bit. She's the weakest. Rude is the toughest one. Just like in, basically, do you remember in Final Fantasy Remake, you had to go after Reno first? Same rule applies. Rude is the strongest of the Turks. Well, technically. That there'll be a Sonic Heroes remake for a Switch successor. Interesting, Brandon. Sounds really cool. Oh, that's fine. Let's see how you do with Odin. Hope you're ready. Get him, Tifa. Nibelheim's very own Odin. The horse works out. Apparently. Nice job, Tifa. We're in a huge arena, but where's the audience? What do you mean, where's the audience? There's not too many people in the audience. Um, there's a couple. Oh, there are some people. Yeah. You just can't see them all because you're like, center stage. Yeah, I kind of forgot there are people that I can see. And the yeah, Rude is pretty, uh, pretty tough. Definitely, Miss Diana. What? There we go! Odin's finisher! Let's see how Rude deals with this. Thanks, Holy crap, he survived. Bye, Rude. Bye bye, Shinra lap dogs. We're just getting warmed up, right, Rude? Yeah, this fight's far from over. Esteemed spectators, if you would be so kind as to direct your attention to the center of the ring. To ensure a fitting climax for this spectacle, we've invited a special guest. Now, let's give a round of applause for... The Shinra Electric Power Company's very own president, Rufus Shinra! You're still a Shinra employee, at least on paper. <laughs> and as your boss, I figured I'd dispose of you personally. Was that meant to be a joke? <sighs> you two go. Wait with some. <laughs> Got my number this time? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Uh oh. Um, I was a lot stronger when I fought him in remake. I don't have the dodge ability either. I don't even understand why he's 
fighting us. Fact, don't even this is gonna be bad. I have chakra, but that's about it. <laughs> Gosh, it's annoying and now it's just gonna... Yeah, they're gonna try to present him. So, yeah, it's gonna be not as easy to fight as last time. Oh, the last fight was intense. Ow. Yeah, the announcer's really bad. I will be able to deal with that The problem is I had I had a pretty good ace up against my sleeve when I fought him last time. I guess I'm just supposed to dodge his attacks again until I can attack him. I don't know. I wish we could that sword is okay, but it seems like you break it down. It's over. I don't understand my roots. I just don't like us. <laughs> yeah, but he sees Yuffie in our party now, so. Yeah, but... yeah, that's a problem. Come on. It's gonna need a lot of potions after that one. Big fast. Yeah. I think my chance mm. spend more time studying their opponents. Come on. It's on now. Interesting. Oh, he has such a deep voice. Focus. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how his voice sounds in Japanese. <laughs> but it sounds cool. Here I come. Cocky as ever. Either my stomach's growling or the president's boots. That's doing the friend. Well trained. Don't you think? You can't bite the hand that feeds. And yet here you are. Mm. Oh. That was savage. You have to take out the dog now. Alright, let's see how you deal with the summon, guys. We summon Bahamut! He's not my dog, but this is my dragon! Oh. Have some fun now. Ow. Damn, that dog is very loyal to him. And I've got an attack dog with a built in force peel. <laughs> Down. Seriously? Red eyes, black dragons is game. <laughs> We have to wait for an opening. Oh, that was from a while ago. Thank you, Silver Sonic. Sorry I missed what you were saying. Hi, puppy. I wish my dog had a built-in force field, says chat. You're out of luck. Sit, boy, sit. Aw, Poochie, go bye-bye. Speaking of going bye bye, Bahamut! Fire! Thank you. Not bad, Mr. President. But she'll never be a soldier. Enough of this farce. So, 
Are we gonna go after him? Not yet. First. We find Kate Sith, right? Right. <laughs> I thought I'd seen it all, but this is a mother of all twists. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, both teams are disqualified. I don't think anyone <laughs> could have predicted this outcome. What a crazy <laughs> They're still announcing it. Should we look for the others too? After Kate, okay? No. Yeah, he shoots a coin, he does that. Nice one! That's the best match I've seen in a minute. Glad we know. He can't have gotten far. Can't have gotten far. Yeah. There oh, he is. I see. Is spectating not enough? Aerith is ring. keeping him locked in here. The others have the outside covered. Let's search in here. Kitty. Bad kitty. I mean, what are we gonna do when we find him? You know. He's gonna be too fast for us. Ouch. I got some protein powder to drop off backstage. Stamp plushies right here. Get them. Here, kitty, you kitty, kitty. Buy a fat chocobo and moogle and save with our pudgy bear combo. Grab our trio of iconic mascots and Where is he? take home a piece of the gold saucer. I bet he's hiding in the plushies or something. Like in the E.T. movie where he hides. Where he hid it. I think he's pulling an E.T. I think he's... In the stuffed animals somewhere. Wow, Amber, good job. Whoa. Hey. That's what I would do if I was a cute little cat. I hate to do this. Crap! We can't let him get away. After him. I can't believe I called that. Smart Amber. Thanks so. Come on, kitty. I'm going after it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hmm. It's like a star. Over there. Pesky feline. Not you, Link. Well, I don't remember seeing this very area. Maybe we did. We did. It's a, a whole theme park. Alright, I don't know where he went now. Oh, Yuffie didn't see him. Hey, Cloud. I searched high and low, but no Kate. Okay, so he can go to Chocobo Lake. <laughs> Went that way. I think I just saw him. He could be anywhere. Maybe even hiding in plain sight. Yeah, the other characters will give you a hint. Yeah, that's good that they do that. The more I watch this game, the more I'm like trying to think of how this would be. In the original Final Fantasy VII. No sign of a cat. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, bring me along. No, I don't think we will. Oh, that's his coop. Uh, his um, Moogle monster. Yep. Authorized personnel only. <gasps> After him. Oh, a little, a little blow up uh, Chocobo. That's right. <laughs> Stop right there. Oh, 
was that? Maybe we're getting in serious trouble for this, but he did steal Eris' property. She won it fair and square. Yep. Man, he's really making us run for this. Oh, come on! Got it. You too. <laughs> well, we can still beat him up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How it looks? What was I thinking? Trusting you. The company man with a heart of gold. Huh. What a joke. Barrett, no. Please. Screw it. Piece of shit ain't worth the bullets anyway. I don't understand. Why? Because he's an asshole. One we should have never trusted in the first place. Don't. He deserves it. Not you too. <laughs> Knew from the start it had to end this way, but it still stings. Oh. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. There's a, a reason why he did it. I am so pissed at Kate right now. Probably laughing at us from his new office. How are you not mad? He played us for fools from the start. <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is is Kate Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. Ha! Then we're in business. All right. I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the Black Materia? will be ours. Cloud! Incoming transmission from KG. One moment. Hey, hey! It's your old goblin pal, Kit G. You didn't forget about yes. it, did you? Sorry for the wait. The next trial is ready and waiting for challengers. If you're still interested in collecting all those treasure pieces, then head on over to the third reactor. Hope to see you again soon. Third reactor. Another trial and our treasure await. Where? Oh. Why not? We have nothing else to do. Um. Let's see. Why don't we do this again? So the cat betrayed us. He was a bad kitty. Tifa's light blue or dark blue? Can't tell. I guess she's light. Oh, she's fully max. See. Okay. Yeah. Hi, gang. Greetings, sir. Do you wish to depart the gold saucer? I do because I need to go do a quest. Safe travels. Yep. 
Um, no, I think we're gonna do... Now... Win the gold cup. How do we get underneath? I don't remember how to get underneath the gold saucer. <clears throat> Leroy was telling us there's a quest here for Tifa. I don't know if it's still here, but... I guess we'll find out. Leroy, do you know the name of the quest for Tifa? The missing birdie of robbed men and ransoms. I only see one quest here, though. Hey, buddy, you're, like, kind of loud. Mr. Birdie Quest. Wait, I don't see Mr. Birdie Quest down here. Hmm. You have to do something to unlock it, says Leroy. Do you know what, Leroy? Because I don't see any information online about it. Is it a New Game Plus thing? Uh, how to unlock Tifa's quest in the Dust Bowl. Okay. Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth. I understand. Hmm. In the meantime, I guess I'll go do the uh, trial. Because I'm not seeing anything down here. Um... Elevator to the prison entrance. Can you go back upstairs? You cannot escape from the Corel prison. Swindling seminar quest in the dust pool? I did that one. Um. It's a Tifa centered quest, supposedly. You having fun, Linky? Both cats are completely zonked. Hey, looking for a way to kill time. Looking for a way to kill time. Oh, hell, son of God! What you do Below ground. What chapter were we on again? Chapter, like... Oh, are we in... It's like there's... That's all right. We're gonna go do a, a quest while Ambi looks for. It's not in chapters. I don't know the name of it. We're on chapter twelve. Okay. If we don't do it this episode, we can always do it another one. I'm gonna go do the phenomenon thing. Next trial. Okay, so the trial we need to go to is right here. And this is all needed to help unlock Gilgamesh. I believe. So, 
Oh, I see now. Tifa's light blue. Everybody else is different. Everybody else is bluish. I think it's to unlock her dragon claws. Something called Desert Rush. I now think. that we've got the statue, we've just got to find the rock. Ah, uh, we have to find the rock. Baby. I hate when they do this. Okay, so. Desert Rush rank three. Mm. And the dust bowl. That's weird. It's down? What do you mean it's down? What are you talking about? Hmm. Strange. Yeah, I believe this is a desert rush in the dust hole. to get over there somehow. Alright, Chocobo. Where's my Chocobo? There's no Chocobo? There's no buggy? Well, that's annoying. How am I supposed to get over there then? Oh. I could just fast travel. There we go again with the weird stuff. So basically, we're trying to do a, a special side mission right now, which is known as the Phenomenons. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, it says the Desert Rush is minigame... Um, located in the Dust Bowl underneath the Gold Saucer. Does it plays like, like it's remake Find counterpoint? It Sounds like the big guy's really Basically, it's over there. breaking bombs. Still better keep our distance. Come on. And it's a Tifa quest? I believe so. I think you get some kind of thing for Tifa at the end, like a. Is there any way to summon my buggy whenever I want? I believe you get an item for Tifa. Hmm. I don't know if it's part of Tifa. I feel kind of bad for that cat now. It's all part of the original story. The cat looked really upset. Mm hmm. And the cat did some sus stuff. Okay, so now I want us to go this way. It says make sure for the desert rush thing, make sure you sure you have triple slash special available. Ability for cloud. Yeah, I, I have that. Okay. So I had to do something in order to unlock that side quest, but I haven't been able to do it yet. I don't know how you unlock it, it says. Why does it keep pointing down? This is very confusing. I don't know how it's supposed to be unlocked. It's okay, I wouldn't worry about it. Why does it still keep pointing down? Still 
points down. What's going on? Ah. Um, Cloud, how do we get down there? How the heck do you get down there? There's a pit down there. But I don't know how to get in there. This is the correct way. So we somehow need to find a way of getting down. Oh. This will work. Careful, Cloud. You don't want to end up becoming Cloud Pancake. Or as we used to say, street pizza. Yeah, you used to say that, huh? I used to say a lot of 90s slang. I know, you're very cute. Yeah, my mom. Mm. Oh, I know. You don't have to be on Star Wars. Come on, Cloud, go down. There it is. This is what we needed. Alright, cactus place found. Wait, how do I do this again? Oh. Oh, we have to fight the cactus? I forgot about that. That's fine. Or not. Deal with that. Okay, let's go. What's up, Linky? Yeah, I believe so. I'm gonna have to somehow find a way of installing uh, Street Fighter V. Means I'm gonna have to erase some kinks. Yeah, get some sleep, it won't be until 1 in the morning. For yourself. All right, so now we need to head back to the one place, which is over here. And of course, we can't fast travel there, so. Oh, wait, yes, we can. You're fine, Amber. You giving Zelda a medicine? And here comes Linky. Oh. Okay, sweetheart. 
Now, where's the buggy man? There it is. There's Gilgamesh again. Later, Gilgamesh. Examine the other reactor. Yo, weird gnome guy. Elf. Hey, hey! How dare you betray me? <laughs> the Don raised you, and this is how you repay him? We're gonna teach you a lesson, you ungrateful pricks. Don't fight the hand it feeds. <laughs> I hear you were using him as cannon fodder. Should they thank the Don for that too? <laughs> Rat faced punk. You know who I am. Look, you're obviously not worthy of the treasure. So would you mind clearing out already? I'm expecting company. <laughs> the hell are you doing here? You shit me? If you bozos hadn't crushed my plans, I wouldn't have had to come here just to fix up. After he was so unjustly driven from the gold saucer, our beloved Don was forced to wander these scorching sands. We stumbled upon this oasis and asked only for a bit of a respite. But these guys... <sighs> oh, please. You goons tried to steal the treasure, and you got what was coming to you. Shut your mouth! All that glimmers is gold, and all that's gold belongs to the dot alone. He needs it to build his grand new empire, Corneo Land. Come on, just give it to me already. Don't make me beg for it, because I will. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Done. Let's retreat for now. We let them do the legwork. Then once they've got the treasure, we swoop in and snatch it. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's our cue. We'll see ourselves out. Au revoir. Fam out. <sighs> Sorry about all that. Now that the Don and his crew hit the road, shall we? Bring it on! <laughs> I've got something real special in store for you. Huh? You kidding? They're just different colors. <laughs> Don't look so special to me. Those aren't just any cactuars. They're rare variants. Their unique coloration has led them to be venerated by their peers as heroes. I must implore you all to collect data on them for me. <laughs> and with that, let the third trial begin. But who? Oh, Yuffie again? Sure, why not? Just 
Thank you, sweetheart. Points to try. Well, we got 2,000, but I don't think it's very high. I was able to get almost 4,000. Maybe that's enough to pass, I don't know. That was quite a show. I am genuinely impressed. Got it, never mind. Should be only one more. Right? Hmm. Precisely. The next reactor you visit will be the last. One final trial awaits that will determine whether you 
are the treasure's rightful owner. All right. Oh, that's in a precarious place. Okay. Well, that was fun. So that was the Yuffie trial. And we're going to be doing the um, final one next time, I hope. Um... Okay. So, uh, anyway, guys and gals, how this is going to work. Um, a thousand views is required for the next exciting episode of Final Fantasy. Uh, we're currently at 700. That's the best I could do. Um, I need to eat because my next stream is going to be at 10.15. I, I definitely need to eat something. I need to upload the YouTube short. And uh, I have to download Max's game somehow. And try to free up some room on my PlayStation. So I, I got a bunch of stuff to do in the next, like, 15, 20 minutes that I can't uh, stream Final Fantasy anymore today. But, um... The Tifa and Cloud thing happened. Next time we're going to continue our quest toward Gilgamesh. And uh, you guys will be redirected to um, the Star Wars. So if you guys could get the likes up for Star Wars, that would be great. I don't even know what Star Wars is currently at. Um, all the shenanigans from the Ace Attorney stream have been cut as best as we could. So hopefully, those of you that try to watch the um, Ace Attorney stream back, you'll have, like, a, a better time. Um, I did the best I could, but again, stream editing is not something that's perfect on YouTube. But, I mean, I did the best I could to try to make it look like the incident never happened, but that way it doesn't ruin the series for you guys. Uh, especially if you're trying to watch it back. So, anyway. Um, see you guys on uh, Star Wars. I gotta go eat. God bless. Happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the super chats today. And see you guys on Star Wars later tonight. God bless and happy gaming.